The thing about this event last year, there was an awful amount of work that went in from the state government and the live team to put all the infrastructure in place, uh, make sure we promote the event um, as best as possible. But ultimately, it was fans that brought this event to life. It was people. And we always took a, a calculated risk uh, as a government that you know, Australian golf fans had been starved of high-quality professional golf for decades. I mean, there's a generation of golf fans in this country that had never seen elite golf before. And we took a bit of a hunch that people would want respond to the opportunity to see the world's best golfers here in South Australia, and they responded in droves. So what I think will take this event to another level uh, this year is that there are a lot more people here. We've increased the capacity of the facilities here at Grange. A lot more passes have been able to be sold as a result of it, and I think that is going to add a whole other level of atmosphere over the course of the three days. Critically, from the state government's perspective, it's on track to meet all the economic metrics that we care so much about, particularly overseas and interstate visitation. Um, and that's given the city a, a real buzz. And uh, you feel that walking around, and I suspect as we get closer to the event, that will only increase.